So here we are. Just a few more games until another champion is crowned. This sucks. I mean, the Saints lost. We only have three more games until we have to wait another six months for football. I'm just super bummed all around. But it's a new week. We have a championship Sunday that should produce two awesome games. So first game Sunday is Bucks and Packers. And obviously from a handicapping standpoint, you want to go back to their previous matchup. And the Green Bay literally had their worst game possible. Aaron Rodgers and that offense came out flat and weren't able to get anything generated all game. But I think that game might be a little fluky because everything that could go wrong for the pack went wrong. Rodgers was off by his standards. The O-line couldn't protect him at all. Aaron Jones couldn't establish a run game and the list goes on and on. I think the pack had a much better game this go around, but that the Bucks hang on score for score. Usually I'm not a totals girl, but I'm taking the over here and I'm going to hope for fireworks. If Patrick Mahomes does play, I like the Chiefs laying about six. So sorry, Bills Mafia. However, if he doesn't play, I like the Bills laying up to three, maybe even more. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen here yet, but it's going to be interesting to watch this line move around all week long. Y'all don't see me talk a ton about the UFC, and usually when I do, it's when a guy from my lovely hometown of Lafayette, Louisiana is fighting, and I just so happen to have that this weekend in McGregor Poirier 2. These guys fought back in 2014, where Connor won via knockout in the first round, and he says he's going to do it again, but I have a feeling this fight goes much different. Dustin Poirier has been putting in work since that fight, going six and one in one no contest and beating some established names. Max Holloway, Eddie Alvarez, Anthony Pettis, Justin Gaethje, and just beating Dan Hooker in a decision in his last fight. On the other hand, you have Connor Fulking McGregor. He shows up when he wants to. He throws stools at buses. He decks old men in bars over disagreements in whiskey. And he fights referees. The last time these two fought was over six years ago. If you look back at that tape from the weigh-in, McGregor was so deep in Poirier's head that McGregor had that fight won before they even tapped gloves. Since then, Poirier has been working on every single aspect of his game, and I think that mental toughness is definitely going to show. Obviously, Connor has an amazing track record, but all we've seen of him recently is that 40 seconds when he beat Cowboy and what he's been portraying on social media. While that track record is amazing, I don't think it's enough to put a minus 300 price tag on Connor McGregor. That's just like paying for like Abercrombie and Fitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my boy from Lafayette, AKA Fightville USA, and I'm taking the diamond to win. Let's go Dustin for you. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week. As I said last week, let's continue to savor the little bit of football that we have left. Go get your favorite beer, get your favorite snack, get your favorite jersey, go put in a bet, and let's make some money. <laughs>